diametrically opposed, but um, I thought we'd start by a very quick show of hands, if that's all right. Um, I did leave my translator at home, so if I do start speaking Australian strine, please, you know, during question time, say, what, what was that? I'll speak slowly. But uh, show of hands, um, I wanted to ask you, when thinking about your son or your daughter or your grandchild or a young person that you know, um, would you be open to the idea of a pathway that is not a university pathway? So could I have a quick show of hands? If you're in the room, okay, I'm, I'm in that category. I've got a 10-year-old daughter and uh, she told me that she wants to be a chef, um, which would be a vocational pathway, and a vet, and, uh, which would be a college or university pathway. And uh, I hope that if she does do that, she doesn't do it in the same building. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> there, there we have it. Um, so... In the US, um, the National Association of Manufacturers survey um, to gauge public opinion each year. They do a lot of surveying, so people in the US would know this. 90% of respondents ranked manufacturing at the top of the list of important industries. So that's, that says a lot, doesn't it? 80% thought building a strong manufacturing base to be a top priority. And when asked at the end of the survey, the last question says, would they encourage their own children to join the manufacturing industry? And the, what do you think the answer was? It was, a, it was actually a resounding no. So I think one of the things that um, we, we are facing is there is a, um, often, and it's around the world, and I've travelled extensively, you do see this myopic focus about university or college for everyone. And I wanted to say to, to people associated with universities, by no means am I anti-university, anti-education um, in any way, shape or form. I happen to start my life as an apprentice chef and very much like the, uh, the German or actually the German or Swiss system, I actually you know, moved across throughout my career. I ended up at a university uh, in Boston. And uh, for me, it was very much about the right education at the right time. So with that, I thought I'd actually start in reverse. I just wanted to start with a few pitfalls that I've seen over the last couple of days, things that have just sprung to mind, because I certainly don't want to end on that. Um, Paul, we were talking about um, people staying in extended education. And I think that one of the challenges, particularly in the US, if you look at that, is, is this education, what does it cost? And if it is chalking that up to a loan, um, you only need to do a quick little Google search or whichever search engine you happen to like. I'm not affiliated with Google. Um, you will see that in the US, um, the student loan debt has passed a trillion dollars. The average, the average student loan is $30,000. Now, people are staying in the education system so they don't have to pay that loan back. 